the sheer scale and audacity of the U.S. surveillance programs is impossible to get your head around on some level. How would you summarize last year when it comes to internet freedom? I think there's a lot of growing complexity around the protection of freedom online, in part because internet freedom, internet security, and internet governance issues have all become intricately intertwined. And I think there's a growing darkness and dark realization about how difficult it is going to be to protect freedom online in a fully digitized world. I also would say there's been a lot of growing complexity geopolitically, in large part as a response to the Snowden revelations, where many governments have stepped in, rushed into the internet, freedom, security, governance space, with many mixed motivations. Um, for example, the Chinese have proposed a type of cyber sovereignty where they would suggest that each government should have its own internet, its own rules, its own freedom. The Indian government has proposed multilateralism as a solution to internationalizing and so-called democratizing the internet, when in reality it would be empowering. Multilateralism actually is states only and it would empower undemocratic governments and give them a bigger say in the internet governance debate. So that's not necessarily a solution. Those are not necessarily positive motivations and yet geopolitically that's what kind of complexity we're dealing with in this space. Do you see any uh, development, any um, light in this dark tunnel? Great question. Luckily there has been a very important bright spot on the horizon in the internet freedom governance security space and that is the example of Brazil. Uh, President Dilma Rousseff gave a, a very important speech at UNGA where she highlighted several key principles including the idea that in the absence of privacy there can be no freedom of expression or opinion and therefore no effective democracy. And she also asserted that the safety and security of citizens of one country cannot be guaranteed by violating the universal human rights of citizens in another country. In addition, Brazil passed Marco Seville, which is in effect a role model, a model of a uh, digital bill of rights for Brazil. And last but not least, Net Mundial solidified multi-stakeholderism as a approach to internet governance, security and freedom issues going forward, which is a much better model than multilateralism if you care about functionality of the single interoperable global platform and if you care about freedom online.